In this session, we're going to discuss incident response and how Venify can help with monitor, notify, remediate, and validate your certificates and keys. The challenges related to keys and certificates is that a compromise or forged certificate that's used in an attack, we must be able to return to a trusted state very quickly, but oftentimes we cannot. Because we don't know where the SSL and TLS certificates are, we don't know where SSH keys are, we don't just know where all of our keys and certificates are, and who's responsible for them. The other issue is that it's hard oftentimes to confirm the back doors or know when um, certificates are being used in malicious acts, such as doing spoofs or man-the-mill attacks. The necessary tasks to address these challenges are we need to detect all of our SSH and SSL keys and certificates, know where all of the keys and certificates are used in situations such as 802.1x, Wi-Fi, or VPN. We also need to have an automated method to replace and renew the certificates in case there is an incident, and we need to provide a self-service administrator and user portal so that it makes it easy for end users and administrators to do their jobs to fix problems. We also need an automated way to secure the distribution of the new keys and certificates. And also, once remediation is complete, we need to validate and make sure that everything was completed appropriately. So how does Venify help with this? So protection, we allow you to have a policy engine and review these policies to make sure that the policies are in place, that if there is an incident, we can quickly respond. On the detection side, we have our discover engine that will help you discover and detect all keys and certificates that are in use. And we also have a self-service portal so users can quickly respond to an incident. On the response side is we have an automated engine that allows remediation of replacing the keys and certificates in the case of an incident. And also our validation process validates the remediation has happened successfully. Let's do a brief demonstration on this. So with incident response, under protection side of things, we want to look at current policies. Within Venify, we have our policy engine, and you can have multiple policies that represent your organization. In my demo system, you can see I have a business unit ABC, a business unit XYZ. Oftentimes, our clients like to have their policies based on um, business units, or other times they may have it based on Linux servers or perhaps load balancers, so whatever makes sense for your organization. If we click on a specific policy, we can get information such as monitoring. Um, when are we going to notify someone before a certificate expires? That's oftentimes very important. The other thing is we want to make sure that our ownership is established. So who is the owner of this particular policy? So all of the certificates that are under this policy, this is the owner. If something needs to be approved, this is the approver. And then what we also have the ability to do is when a certificate is renewed, we want to specify that our key length is going to be 2048 bit. Are we going to allow a user to reuse their private key? We can also specify what CA is going to be used and what's the renewal window. So you'll notice that there's lock symbols. It makes it very, very easy for us to lock down the policies. So when a certificate is renewed, we make sure that it is being renewed with the appropriate policies. Um, we have our multiple ability to work with the certificate authorities. So you have your Microsoft CAs, your OpenSSL CAs. So we can make sure that when a certificate is renewed, it does use the appropriate CA. And in the event that we need to rotate, for instance, let's say we need to, um, if, the, if we need to make a change to a chain, then you have the ability to modify that as well. The entire chain is, is configured and trusted. All right. On the detection side of things, this was the admin portal. Let's take a look at the user portal. So when we go to the user portal, you notice I have the network discovery. And under the network discovery, you have multiple discovery jobs. The thing with detect is we want to make sure that we identify all the certificates and keys that are in the environment. So in the case that there is an incident, we know how to respond. And so the discovery jobs do a great job of finding what's out there. I can specify the name. I can say that I want to discover this particular IP address. Or let's say that I want to discover, you know, this particular host. And I want to discover something like, you know, these 25 hosts, for example. So however you want to lay that out. And you can also do domain, you know, um, you know, the host name. And then also let's say that you want to specify port 443 and maybe 8443 and maybe 8080. So you can use whatever port you like and we will then discover this. And it is a very robust discovery engine and you also have the ability to run these now or on a scheduled basis. There's also placement rules. So what happens with placement rules, we make sure that we are identifying the certificates and then automatically placing them into the appropriate policy. 
The ultimate goal of the placement rule is to absolutely make sure that there's no manual intervention whatsoever. The discovery job finds the certificates and automatically places them into um, the appropriate policy. Now, the other thing with detection is we need to have a, a portal and a dashboard so the user gets to you know immediate visibility into the population of their certificates. So if we go to dashboards, go to certificates, you'll notice that we're looking, we, we will be looking at things such as key links and validity periods and the certificate authorities. We can see if they're self-signed, exactly all of our certificate authorities. We also get the critical alerts. So if there's key links that we need to work on or unapproved CAs, we can hover there and it shows us information such as um, compliance with SANS CSEs or NIST or PCI DSS information. And then so we get immediate views as to what's happening here. And let's say that we need to look at something if we want to see, you know, if my demo, I have all the, you know, the SHA-2, but let's say if I wanted to look at this self-signed certificate, I could click on this. It takes me directly to this self-signed certificate, and then I could do something with that. Let's say I need to revoke this or retire the certificate. So it gives you a very easy view as to what's there and the ability to take action on that. Now, the take action goes down to the response capabilities of Trust Protection Platform. So when we look at the ability to do things, so let's say that an incident is maybe that we need to look at validity periods that are over two years, or perhaps I've got a problem with this particular, um, my Venify demo C CA, I could, collect, I could select this, and then I could say I want to look at this particular certificate, and then if I wanted to revoke the certificate, I could do that right from the, the UI, right from the portal. Or let's say I needed to look at a different certificate and I wanted to say I want to renew now this particular certificate. Then what would happen is I would um, the trust protection platform would generate a new CSR, generate a new key material, submit that to the CA, and I would get a brand new certificate. And then I could download that certificate or um, trust protection platform could install that certificate for me. Now there's also the notion of validation, and what validation does is it also goes into the response category because once a new certificate has been placed on a device, we want to make sure that that new certificate is responding appropriately. So then I could look at the status, and I could see what's steady, what's pending, or what's urgent, and if something fails validation, then I would know about that and I could take the appropriate actions on that. So in summary, with incident response, we have protect, detect, and respond, the ability to look at your current policies, review the policies, detect and discover all your certificates, have a web portal that's easy to use to take action in case of an incident, and the ability for response through remediation and then validate once the, the validation and the remediation tasks have been completed. If you have any questions, please contact us at Venify. We're happy to help any way we can. Thank you very much.